Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is multiplying with 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So um, uh, our essential question is, uh, what strategies can we use to multiply with 8? All right, this is a quick, fast lesson. I'm going to show you a couple strategies here. All right, so we have a black widow there. Have you guys ever seen a black widow? Well, that's what they look like, uh, most of them anyway. So a spider, so we're just talking about spiders and how many legs they have. Spiders have 8 legs. Uh, so how many legs do five spiders have? Spiders um, uh, and scorpions. Scorpions also have eight legs. So anyway, uh, let's see. So we're, we're basically, uh, for five spiders, we're multiplying five times eight. So let's, uh, here's one way we can do this. We can use doubles, you guys. So uh, uh, eight is an even number. So we can break eight down into halves. Eight, half of eight is four. So eight is four plus four right there. All right, let me move that up and get that spider out of the way, okay? So 4 plus 4, then we can just multiply 5 times one of those 4s right there. 5 times one of those 4s, 5 times 4 is 20. And then since we got another 5 times 4 right there, because it's 4 plus 4, um, so we double that number, and so tw uh, 20 doubled is 40. So therefore, 5 times 8 is going to be 20 doubled, which is 40 right there. Okay, that's one way to do that. It's just take um, uh, half of that. So then 5 spiders are going to have 40 legs, and, and there they are saying hi to you right there. I used to have a sister that, that well, I still do have a sister, but she would come wake me up in the middle of the night and make me come and get a spider out of her room. She wouldn't let me sleep, so the deal was she always had to make me a nice sandwich after that. So anyway, uh, let's see. So another way is uh, we can use a number line here. So uh, use the number line to show five jumps of eight. So if I just uh, take this number line and go five jumps of eight. So there's one jump right there. It took me to eight. And then I'm going to do another jump. There's two jumps. That takes me to 16. Three jumps takes me to 24. Four jumps takes me to 32. And then finally, five jumps takes me up to 40 right there. Okay, so five jumps of 8 is 40. Five times 8 equals 40 right there. Okay, all right. And then so just be careful, you guys. Be sure not to count the tick marks when you're counting, but to count the spaces. Because if I counted the tick marks from 0 to 8, it's actually 9, you guys. There's one tick mark right there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So make sure to count the spaces between the tick marks when you're doing the jumps on there. Okay, so there, there's 8 space marks between 9 of the marks. Don't count the tick marks themselves. Count the spaces between them. All right, so here's another way to do this. We can use the associative property of multiplication right here. So 8 times 6 is the same as um, I'm just replacing 8 with 2 times 4, because remember 8 is 2 times 4. Okay, so then we can use the associative property. Instead of grouping these two numbers together, uh, 2 times 4, we can go ahead, because that's my 8 right there, we can reassociate these two numbers together first. Because remember, the associative property says that we, instead of multiplying these guys first, we can multiply these two first. So if I multiply uh, 4 times 6 first, um, uh, 4 times 6 is going to get us 24 right there. And then we can just do 2 times 24, uh, or just double 24 and put in 24 plus 24. 24 plus 24 is going to get us 48, okay? So there's another way to multiply it by uh, that. You can, you can start with uh, change 8 to 2 times 4, and then you can multiply this 4 and 6 first. 4 times 6 is 24, and since it's 2 times that, you just do 24 plus 24 because you're just doubling that, and that gets us 48. Okay, so there's uh, all kinds of ways. So when we multiply with 8, uh, will the product always be an even number? And explain, well, well, look, this is how we did it one way right here. We, um, uh, we used doubles because 8 is an even number. So um, we broke 8 into 4 plus 4, and then we multiplied 5 times the first one, and then 5 times the second one, and we doubled that. Over here, we ended up um, uh, using the associative property. We took uh, 8 and made it 2 times 4 and then multiplied those, and then we ended up doubling that. Okay, whenever you double a number, that just means you're multiplying it by 2. And when you multiply it by 2, anything times 2 always gets us an even number. Okay, so there's just a couple of strategies to be in multiplying by 8, and I hope that helps you guys. Take care.